Hello, hello, good evening. Perdón la tardancia, tenía un pequeño problema de conexión. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Um, good evening. I, I'm happy to see everyone. Okay. Person, you ready? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, guys, are we ready for today? Yes, I'm ready. Excellent. Okay, let's begin. Today, we are going to review the simple past, past questions used to, questions with used to, okay? This is for unit one. This is to review unit one, okay? Now, in unit one, we have questions, simple past questions. We have three forms, okay? Look in the chat, look in the chat. What is the difference? What is the difference with did, was, and were? This is um, auxiliar. Um, was and where is the past of where to be? Okay, okay, good. Okay, but in the question, what is the difference? The three, the three are auxiliaries. The three are auxiliaries. When For the you... question? Mm -hmm. For the question is did. Is the auxiliar did. Was is we use in the only for I he she, uh, he she it and where they we and you okay okay so so okay yes eh, si no mal me recuerdo el did se utiliza cuando son verbos de acciones en las preguntas y el was y el were cuando son eh, de lugares, profesiones u uh, o oh, no me recuerdo cuál es el otro. Excellent, very good. Okay, good. That is correct. The idea is that did is actions, only actions. So when we use the idea for did, hang on is the questions are actions. When you use the verb to be, for example, like the, like they described, okay? The verb to be is for descriptions, locations, or professions, okay? So we make a question with action or with activity is going to be did, okay? Did you study? Did you work? Did you cook? Did you any action, the verb? Okay, now with was and were, no action. For example, were you a happy baby? Were you, uh, were you born in Santa Ana location? Were you a good student? Were you a student profession? These are for lo description, location, professions is we use the verb to be. Was for he, she, it, were you we they okay so were you was he was she was it it's okay the difference with did and was and were yes teacher yes somebody know Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. So what are we going to do? In this moment, we are going to practice with our partners. We are going to ask questions with did, okay. Do you remember the biography? ¿Se acuerdan hace unos días hicimos biografía? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. So now we're going to ask our partners. Oh, Diego, were you born in El Congo? No. No way. No, I didn't. No, no correct, Diego. Sorry. Listen, listen. Okay. Oh, okay. 
Were, were you born in El Congo? No, I didn't born. No, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Oh, yes. Remember, auxiliary, auxiliary, okay? Another example. <laughs> yes, okay. yes. Okay, another example. Diego, did you study in Santa Ana? No. I can say I did, yes? Correct, because did, did. No, I didn't. Okay. And yes. this is the idea. With, with your partner, you try to remember the biography and ask questions. Ah, Diego, where, where did you study? Where were you born? Were you a good student? Were you a bad student? Did you have a mother? Did you have, did you have brothers? Or the different questions. Ah, Diego, did you, did you swim? Did you like to go to Lake Coatepeque? Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, exactly. Guys, remember the most important auxiliary auxiliary. Es muy importante que escuchen el auxiliar porque esa es la respuesta. If I say, Jose Isaías, were you happy? Yes, I was. Exactly. If I say, Harrison, did you go to uh, um, El Paseo El Carmen? Um, yes, teacher, I did. Correct. So did, did, right? Okay. Ahora, esos son yes, no question. ¿Cómo hacemos preguntas que nos den respuestas largas? Those are WH questions. Oh, I say, Herson, where did you go? Ya no me puede decir yes, no, ¿verdad? Hoy Herson me tiene que dar una respuesta larga. Herson, where did you go last week? Um, I go to the university last week. So, 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 Herson. No, I go. No, I go. Last week is I? I... When? No. Exactly. When? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I went. I went to university. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y allí donde tienen que estar pendiente el compañero. No dejen que usen los verbos en presente porque no estamos en el presente. Right? Everything is in the past. Questions, answers, positive, negative, WH. We are ready? Ready. Okay. Ready. Okay. Remember, did action was were no actions.
on sale. Don't worry, Jose. I put you into a group. We are, okay. we are practicing you. past tense. Past ah, okay. tense. Unit one. Okay. Thank you, teacher.
Okay, let's take a look. Any questions? It's okay, the difference between did, was, were? Yes? Okay, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. let's check. All right, Harrison, ask medium. Mm, okay. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Did you ready? Yes, I'm ready. 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 Yes, i go uh, uh, on the beach last weekend so so my fluid is no. did you go to the beach last weekend okay and did you go to the beach last weekend no i didn't okay good medium medium ask jose isaias okay jose isaias where did you go on your last week uh, on your last vacation where did you go on your last vacation? Good fluency. Um, I went to the beach and to the mountain. Okay. Wow. Good. All right, Jose Isaias, ask uh, Anna Lisette. <laughs> okay, teacher, she hates me because I, I, no problem. It's okay. Uh, uh -huh. Let me see. Okay. Uh, were you a good daughter? Yes, I did. Were. Were you were a good daughter? You a good daughter? Mm. ¿Qué auxiliar usó? ¿Qué auxiliar utilizó yes. él? Mm. Escuchaste did. Where, where, did uh -huh. you? Uh -huh. where you? Yes, I, I were. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Uh -huh. Good. Okay. Good. Analyze that. Ask Jose Jovito. Okay. Did you drink coffee today? Okay. Yes. I did. <laughs> Good, Jose. Ask Aida. Only. Mm -hmm. Okay, Aida, did, did you go to the travel last month? One more time, Jose. Mm -hmm. Did you go to travel last month? So, so, but no to. Did you travel last month? Okay. Did you travel last month, Aida? Mm, no, I didn't. Okay. Good. Aida, ask Diego. Okay. Um, Diego, uh, did you go to the mountain last week? No, I didn't. But I want. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very I, will, good. I, will, I, will, I will like. I will like. <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to pause right there. Excelente. Ya utilizaron todas las de did. Ahora tienen que usar WH. Algo con WH, porque solo preguntas bien fácil me están diciendo para que la persona diga yes or no. No. Where did you go? When did you? Why did you? Who did you? How did you? Ooh. Y Diego va a empezar preguntándole a José Carlos. Ok. Um, let me think. Eh, what sport? No, 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 no. What sport? Eh, did you practice when you were a child? Okay, good. I practice uh, football soccer. Okay, good. I practice soccer. Good, Carlos. Carlos, ask Cesar. Uh, Cesar? Um... Okay. 
Okay, Jose Carlos, practice more, practice more, Jose Carlos. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's okay, no well, problem. No problem, we help you, we help you. Cesar, ask Karen a question. Mm, okay. Uh, Karen, what do you use uh, what do you use to buy when you was in school? When you were. Uh, okay, when you were in the school. Excuse me, repeat the question. Uh, where? Yeah. What, what? Uh, what do you use? Uh, what do you use to buy when you were in school? Okay. Uh, uh, normally, when I went to school, I was used. Teacher, is okay? No, but you finish, porque no estoy seguro hasta que termines cuál es la parte que te tengo que corregir. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I was to use uh, pack back. Ah, okay. Uh, no, I used to use a backpack. But Karen... Es que, es que no le entendí la parte final, solo le entendí de que qué es lo que usaba. No, 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 no. No es, eso te iba a decir que no, no, no fue esa la pregunta que te hizo César. Te hizo, eh, ¿qué dijo Carlos? José Carlos, ¿qué dijo César? No le comprendí bien la pregunta. Ok, okay. perfecto. Okay. José, Can I repeat? César, please repeat, please repeat. Oh, ok, what did you use to buy when you were in school? Ok, ¿qué es lo que usualmente compro cuando voy a la escuela? Yes, ¿Sí? correct, before, yes, okay. in the past. Well, when you were in the school. Good, Miriam, okay. thank you for helping. Mm -hmm. Nice idea. <laughs> ok, I usually used to, uh, used to buy a... Uh, a lunch. Exactly. That's it. I used to buy a lunch. Okay. Y very good, Karen. Qué bueno que preguntaron César y Karen. Used to. Because now we continue. Porque el siguiente tema de la unidad uno, unit one, was used to. Ah, Karen lo acaba de usar y César lo acaba de usar. ¿Qué significaba eso que usaron ellos? Used to. Olía. Olía. Exactly, exactly. And you see in the chat, what is the correct way in the chat? You can see how to make the question is, did you use to plus verb in the present? For example, did you use to watch cartoons? Look, no D, no D, only used to. Did you use to? But in the answer, yes, we have a D. So in the answer, for positive, I used to watch cartoons with D. The answer in negative, I didn't use to work or I didn't use to watch cartoons is negative, right? For example, I didn't use to. Yeah. Okay, no D, no D. And then it's okay. Remember, question, no D, in positive, yes. So when you use the auxiliary did, when you use the auxiliary did, no D for the verb, the verb in present. For example, here we have some questions. We have WH question and we have a yes, no question. WH, for example, ah, what food didn't you used to like? Correct, Miriam. That is correct. Did you used to ride a bike when you were a child? Exactly. Exactly, Miriam. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the idea is always it used to is the action before yes and now no. Remember, this is from unit one. In unit one, this is from 
exercise 1.10 and exercise 1.13. Okay. And so, when you you still you continue do the action, you use still really in the as word. Correct. You use still because still means continue. Continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for example, with my partner's biography, I learn and I say, oh, um, Aida, did you used to watch cartoons when you were a child? Okay. I didn't used to watch cartoon. <gasps> no cartoons. <laughs> Y allí yo continúo la conversación. No cambio pregunta. Yo continúo. What did you use to do? Ah, por, si no había caricaturas, entonces, ¿qué hacías? Right? What did you use to do, Aida? I used to uh, play with my brother. Oh, y allí continúo yo la conversación. What did you use to play? ¿Entendimos? And then we continue, continue. And Aida, the same. The idea is conversation. Lo que queremos eh, ir cambiando es esa idea de pregunta-respuesta. Porque no va a ser pregunta-respuesta. Va a ser una conversación en alguien que se encuentra en el trabajo, por teléfono. No va a ser, solo ser, hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Good. Hey, y no, 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 no. It's going to be a conversation. Okay, let me see the chat. Uh, Miriam, who do you use to play football? When you were a child. No, that one no. Miren el chat. ¿Quién puede ayudar a Miriam a corregir esa segunda pregunta? Le falta un poquito, casi, casi. Who did you used to play football when with, you were to school? With. With, with. exactly. Uh, who Esto. did you used to play with football when you went to school? Muy bien, mm. identificaste, pero no está no, en I... ese lugar. No era en ese lugar. <laughs> Who do, where, where do we After put where? football, right? Yes. Ah, who did you used to play football with when you were a child? Uh -huh. oh, thank you. <laughs> there you go. It's okay how to use used to? Hay alguien que no le quedó claro cómo usamos used to in questions, positive, negative, WH? It's clear for me. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try with our partners. Remember, ask conversation. Ask about, oh, where did you used to live? What did you used to do? What food did, or what food didn't you used to like? Positive or negative? You created. Sure. Yes. Uh, only using used to, uh, or you, in this case, right? Because uh, in the case of the AIDA, I can say, did you have television? Did you... In your child, I don't know. Okay, okay. Yes, did you have? Yes, you can use the simple past, but we want to focus with used to. That way we focus okay. in unit one, the two, simple past and used to, the two questions. Okay. For example, with the television, did you used to have a, a flat screen TV? Did you used to have a, a plasma TV, for example? Mm -hmm. Only change the question a little, but put with used to. Okay, everybody's ready? Okay, let's go.
Okay. Any questions? I have a question. Ah, yes, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Cesar. <laughs> Uh, how do you say uh, valores, but like that the teachers uh, teach in the school? Ah, ethics. Uh, could you repeat? Oh, could you what in the chat? Yes, the two. I, I the pronunciation. Ethics. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Ethics is correct. Yes, I got it. Mm -hmm. Ethics. Okay. Teacher and values, values, values. Values. Values? No. Values. It's incorrect. No, no, values right. is correct, but not the subject. Correct. It's oh. correct, but oh, not the okay, subject. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Because the class in the school is called ethics. And okay. in the ethic class, they teach you values. Okay. But in El Salvador, we have valores. Mm -hmm. But is is general. Um, Ah, uh, it's general. Uh huh. It's different. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, teacher, uh, me falta. Sorry. What the is the word? Per, what is the per, me falta? Or oh, falta. Me falta. Uh huh. Falta. Me, como me falta. Por ejemplo, años para algo? cubrir. Una... For example, no, missing. no. For the time, me falta, digamos, cubrir dos años para sacar una carrera. Ah, entonces es diferente. Es ah. Uh, I need, solo es need, I need oh, okay. two more years, I need two more uh, years. to cover, uh -huh. I need to, uh-huh, is I need. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great, any other questions? All right, let's try to make some questions then with used to, okay? Uh, por donde quedamos? Creo que era por Karen, Karen Flores, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, Karen Flores. Ask Stephanie Roxana. Um, eh, what, eh, sorry, eh, it's okay. Solo lo escribo. Make it. No, no, no. Speaking. ¿Cómo que lo escribo? No. Speaking. Go, Karen. You can do it. <laughs> which, uh, okay. Uh -huh. The, uh, which was your last job? Remember, you are going to make the question with use to. Okay. With did or no, for no, did. no, no, no did. Used to, no okay. did. Oh well, yes, yes. Uh, for example, you can use did, but it's necessary used to. Okay. Did you use to? Did you use to? Uh, job for more uh, in the morning. Repeat, Karen. Yes. Did you use to? Jog. Jog? In the morning. Okay, good. Fluently. Did you used to jog in the morning? Did you used to jog in the morning? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Perfect. All right, Stephanie, go ahead. Stephanie, ask Alma. Uh, what did you use to eat when you were a child? No, no, I didn't. No, the question no is no yes or no. Repeat, Stephanie. What did you use to it when you were a child? Well, I, I dig lick in the in my in my deck no Elma no. I'm going to put in the question in the chat maybe if you see you can understand but hang on okay Well, 
book ah okay um i do i do book is um, pupusa in the school okay one more time alma i used to eat i used i used to eat pupusas i i i used to eat pupusas in the school okay I used to eat pupusas in the school. Good, Alma. All right, Alma. Ask Alejandra Perez a question. Okay. Hello, Alejandra. Um, did you... Did you have, did you, did you, did you, did you use it to have a cell phone in the, in the world? Okay, good Alma, one more time, practice the pronunciation. Did you used to have? Did you used to have? A cell phone in a your cell phone job. In your world. In your job. Job, job, mm -hmm. job. You used to have a cell phone in your job. No hold. Job, job. Okay, there you go. All right, Alejandra. Mm, I used to have my telephone in my work. Okay. All right. And what was the difference, Jose Carlos, between job and work? What is the difference? Job is empleo y work is uh, la tarea, por ejemplo. Median, is that correct? Uh, job is, uh, is an empleo. Uh, in work is an is an action, is an action. Okay, okay, good. So yes, that's right. Very good, Jose. Very good, okay. medium. So, job, el empleo. ¿Y qué haces en el job? Work. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, good. Alejandra, ask uh, ask Yancy. Okay. Okay, um, did you used to take a shower before breakfast? Um, I, I did, I didn't. Finish, Yancy, finish the sentence. Um, I didn't not. Uh, I didn't not. I didn't used to. Used to. Um. No, before. Day a shower, me dijo. So 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 so, Yancy. Okay. Acuérdate que si quieres responder en forma corta es no, I didn't. Simple. La pregunta era, did you used to take a shower before breakfast? Uh -huh. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Pero como no, vos I dices, didn't. I didn't, tenés que terminar porque no dijiste yes or no, sino que estás dando una explicación. Entonces, I didn't used to take a shower. Okay, but now I like to take a shower, por ejemplo. Ajá, uh -huh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yancy, ask Miguel Antonio. Um, when, when did you eat pupusas, Miguel Antonio? Remember, Yancy, we used to. When did you? Ah. <clears throat> when used to? When did you used to? It's pupusas. Yancy, when did you used to? 
Mm. Yangzi, repeat. Sí. When did you? <coughs> when did you? Used to? Used to? It's pupusas. It's okay. pupusas. Okay. ¿Qué le estás preguntando, Yancy? Que cuando. Ay, sí. Quería decirle cuando comió pupusas. Eso no es lo que le preguntaste. Ajá. Porque estaba diciendo, <risa> usualmente come pupusas. Ajá, ok. So, it's good. Gramáticamente está correcto. Solo tiene cuidado con el sentido que le quiere dar. Ahí solo sería el simple past. Did you used to did, uh, did you eat pupusas? No. Or when did you eat pupusas? Ok. You used to eat pupusas. Did you used to eat pupusas? Yes. Ok, Miguel, Antonio, did you used to eat pupusas? Uh, no, I didn't. Today, no, and yesterday, no. <laughs> ok. Ok. Remember, guys, el used to es para preguntar, por ejemplo, acciones de solía. Antes sí, ahora no. Que no me acuerdo quién, pero un compañero dijo correctamente al principio que si todavía lo continúas haciendo es still. Entonces, si te preguntan, did you use to eat pupusas? Yes. And I still eat pupusas. O sea, lo solía hacer y todavía lo sigo haciendo. I still. I still. Lo voy a poner en el chat. Still. Still es todavía. Ajá. Todavía o aún. Uh -huh. All right, Miguel Antonio, ask Stephanie. Okay. Uh, when you are a child, when you used to travel with your family. When did you used to travel with your family? Miguel? No. Wait, one moment, Stephanie. Miguel, go ahead. When you are a child, when you did you used to travel with your family? Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I no I used to travel. No, I used to travel with my family. Okay. No, I didn't porque es negativo. No. I didn't used to travel. Oh, yeah, with my I mm -hmm. forget. Okay. okay. Try Stephanie. Okay. No, I didn't. Uh, no, I didn't. I used to. Used I to? used to travel with my family. Okay. Better, better, Stephanie. All right. Stephanie, ask uh, Anna Lisette. Okay. Anna Lisette. And when do you used to study when 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 you child? When you were. When you were child. I used to um, in the school. Okay, I use y la acción. I use I to, used to I used to study in the school. Okay, very good. I used to study in the school. All right, guys. So we have the idea. Remember, used to, okay? Yo escuché mucho, pero y está bien, pero no es necesario when you were a child. El hecho que usas used to es Simplemente esto es para cuando era el pasado. No, no tiene que ser when you were a child. Está bien decir when you were a child porque puedes especificar la edad. When you were a child, when you were a teenager, when you were in the university. When you, puede poner cualquier cosa, pero no es necesario porque la pregunta es used to. Eso significa, ¿ok? ¿Cuándo solías? When did you used to? ¿Ok? Used to es solías. 
It's okay the question? Use the way, teacher. Only uh, add the complement when uh, we need a, a be more specifically right about the, the answer. For example, uh, uh, where do you use to go after classes? Uh, in the school or in the high school, right? Correct, so correct. Okay. If you want to be more specific, exactly. Where did you use to go? General. Where did you use to go? After school. Where did you used to go on vacation? Where did you used to go on uh, after school in high school? Then you can have general or more, 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 more specific. Okay. All right. Eh, todavía ya casi nos vamos. Solo le quiero decir dos cosas. Eh, uno quería confirmar. Al, ya recibieron. Eh, correos o respuestas o WhatsApp de inglés corporativo para la inscripción del siguiente. No, chef. No, teacher. Oh. No, teacher. No, 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 teacher. Nadie, nadie. No, no, no teacher. Aunque okay. 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 yo tenía otra duda, a mí me aparece como que no, como, no recuerdo exactamente, pero como que dice este curso no incluye certificado, entonces okay. no sé por qué. Ok. Ajá. Entonces no sé si comunicarme con inglés corporativo Uh -huh. O me va a aparecer en algún momento. No, no. Tienes que comunicarte con ellos para que te lo cambien en el sistema, para que aparezca tu certificado. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Allí le puedes, allí mismo en el WhatsApp, en nuestro grupo, solo ponerle oh. pregunta con eh, Jimmy o Jonathan y ahí le aparece. Eh, so, consultando, con, eh, no me aparece el certificado. Eh, me, ¿Cómo hago? O, eh, me lo pueden cambiar y ellos se encargan de, de hacértelo. Teacher, este, yo pregunté eso, lo del okay. el, el porcentaje, el martes, no me equivoco, y me dijeron de que no lo habilitan, que hasta la última semana de la sesión es que habilitan ya lo de los, los diplomas. Ok, ok. A mí, bueno, a mí eso me dijeron. Está bien, pero, eh, aunque en teoría estamos ya en la última semana porque solo nos quedan dos clases, pero vamos a ver para el lunes entonces. Pero igual... César, yo te recomiendo que de igual modo mandarlo, mandarlo en WhatsApp para que así ya quede que avisaste con tiempo por cualquier duda. Ok, dicho. Ok. Y, y para la inscripción, entonces, ¿nos lo van a mandar después? Inglés Se corporativo. Supone, pero en ese caso, eh, normalmente no mandan cuando ya, ya no hay becas, cuando ya, o cuando ya finaliza, es eh, cuando hay el, el, un lapso de tiempo. Entonces, el, espero que los manden pronto, pero ahí depende del si son becados de parte de Insafor, cuántos tienen Insafor, eh, cuándo van a volver a aperturarlo y, y todo eso. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Ahora, les recomiendo de que están haciendo un buen trabajo, pero eh, independientemente, acuérdense de practicar más la pregunta y la respuesta, porque en español, igual que en inglés, no a un nivel intermedio no estuviéramos haciendo preguntas como eh, ¿y qué comiste la cuando eras niño? Entonces está bien. Lo importante es primero formular la pregunta. Ese es excelente. Lo querés formular. Lo segundo es que lo querés decir fluidamente. Entonces no tenga pena, en tu casa, eh, ahí con la grabación, con el celular, empezar a grabarlo para que sea más fluido, para que así eh, empezar a formar preguntas, respuestas. Uno de los tips que yo creo que le ayuda a mucha gente es empezar a hacer las cosas en, y hacer conscientemente en inglés. Cuando estás haciendo algo y lo estás pensando, me estoy cepillando los dientes, ponerlo en inglés. I'm brushing my teeth. Me estoy cambiando. Solo empezar a hacer que tu mente trabaje en inglés y eso te va a ayudar a minimizar esas pausas que, eh, porque ¿qué está pasando en este momento? Aunque tú no lo digas, sabemos que en tu mente estás pensando en el vocabulario necesario, estás pensando, estás agarrando, ¿y cómo se dice en inglés? ¿Y cómo se? Tú no lo estás diciendo, pero lo notamos porque empezás con que, eh, y entonces una forma de terminar eso es que tu mente ya vaya acostumbrándose en el día que vos estás haciendo las cosas en inglés. Así cuando lo tenés que hacer, no es un cambio de chip, sino que es, simplemente es parte de tu rutina. Y eso te va a ayudar mucho a mejorar la fluidez. 
Okay. Bueno, ya no les quito más tiempo, ya sé que ya quieren ir a cenar y a dormir. Um, I see you on Monday, guys. Have a good see weekend. You, Thank, you, Thank, Thank you, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.